Are you getting sick and tired of these big budget green screen action films that contain no reality to them in the slightest? And you're looking for something a little bit more raw, grounded, but still contains the gravitas of some of these $300 million pictures? Well, look no further than 1964's Zulu. I want to be Billy Crystal clear with you. I'm not a war buff. I'm not a history bro. And I certainly wasn't looking forward to watching something that's over two hours long and came out in the 60s. Yeah, I'm a little bit of ageist with movies, okay? Sure, I appreciate a good Casablanca here and a good American graffiti there and maybe a rebel without a cause once in a blue moon, but I don't go out of my way to watch old school epic battle films. I know some people really love them. Clearly Justin Merritt does. When he suggested it to me, I was hesitant, but he is a patron supporter at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, and he's at the mithril level. Thankfully, all my fears were set aside after giving Zulu a chance. No, the first 30 minutes was not enjoyable for me. It wasn't a pleasurable experience. It was actually a bit tough for me to get into, but once I did, I have to say the movie won me over and ended up being pretty damn solid. I really enjoyed Zulu. If you don't know the battle of the British soldiers versus the Zulu at Rourke's Drift, what, are you living under a rock? <laughs> it's common knowledge, said no one. I had no idea what this movie was about. I went in cold. What I ended up seeing was an edge of your seat, dramatic action flick between the British and the Zulu tribe. On one end, you have a paltry 150 British troops against an entire army of Zulus, 4,000 strong. Led by Lieutenant Chard and Lieutenant Bromhead, played by Michael Caine, a very young Michael Caine, probably one of his first big performances. Very impressive stuff as always from Kane. These guys are gonna have to figure out how to fortify this small little outpost because there's no chance in hell they can outrun these dudes. They have injured soldiers here. They're not gonna leave behind. So what they have to do is strategize. They know these guys and how they operate and their game plan of flanking the soldiers. That doesn't make it any easier. This battle goes well into the night and the next few days as these soldiers do everything in their power to fend off the Zulus. This movie fires up like every good movie should, with some tasteful nude dancing at a wedding ceremony. This is done by the Zulu tribe. You get a lot of beautiful, good-looking Zulu ladies working their magic. Um, but no, that's not really the takeaway of this film. It's just something that I think we should all appreciate from time to time. The real takeaway here is just how grand the scale of this movie is for something that came out in the 60s. The big battle scenes are pretty solidly executed. You got stuff on fire, you got gunshots, you got arrows shooting into the sides of rooftops and into soldiers. There's also some good little comedy infused into this. No, it's not like a Marvel film where they're throwing little one-liners out here and there or Star Wars. They can fly now? That doesn't happen. And that keeps things from getting too somber when it's a movie about guys killing each other. Again, I'm not a history buff. I know Hollywood has a tendency to blow things out of proportion. Regardless, this movie was very entertaining. It was captivating, good performances, good visuals, an amazing score, by the way. That soundtrack on this is kick ass. Composer John Barry bashes you over the head with this great soundtrack. And it really complements Enfield's beautiful direction throughout this flick. Thank you once again, Justin Merritt, for this awesome recommendation and to all Patreon and YouTube joint supporters. I really do appreciate the continued support and hopefully I'm doing my part by giving you something in return. All right, if you'd like to give me something more in return, you can like this video, push it around on your social media services, whatever you use, that'd be great. Tell your mom, tell your, your grandpa, he might like this movie still. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna hear more about upcoming movies, movie news, and even older classics like this one. I'd love to have more people stick around and hopefully I'll catch you next time.